Hi, my name is Listening Woodall, and I'm a product applications engineer at Astera Labs. Here we're at DesignCon showcasing our data connectivity and memory connectivity products. Here in the case in front of me, you can see we have our Taurus Ethernet smart cable modules. Specifically, we're looking at two chips here on two paddle carts. So we have our Taurus 1 module here on a paddle cart supporting 8x25 gig NRZ. Here we have our Taurus 2 chip which supports 4x50 gig PAM4 or 4x100 gig PAM4. We use these paddle cards and work with various cable vendors in order to create these active electrical cables. What you see here is our PCB paddle card with our retimer on it. On the back of this paddle card, we have a microcontroller that enables us to use an SDK that provides fleet management and diagnostics for the link. Here, you can see our system validation board and our manufacturing test board. These are two evaluation boards that we've created to help enable our customers to test our products. Our products enable Ethernet connectivity inside the data center rack. Over here we can see some common topologies such as a switch to switch connection or a switch to NIC connection. Over here we have a live setup of Taurus running traffic through the rack. Let's take a look. Here at the top of the rack we can see a switch showcasing two different types of cables. The cables on bottom are our Taurus enabled active electrical cables. These cables support 50 gig PAM4 data. On top, we have passive cables that also support 50 gig PAM4 data, but as you can see, these are a lot thicker cables. If you can imagine this rack was entirely populated with these passive cables, you would have very little airflow through the rack. This would increase your cooling costs, as well as decreasing the ability to provide maintenance to the rack. Here you can see the active electrical cables are extremely easy to remove, bend, and reinsert. The passive cables, on the other hand, are very difficult to remove, potentially causing damage to both the port and the cable during maintenance. Here is a demonstration of our product running 200 gig live traffic for a switch to switch connection. As you can see here, the link is up, there are no faults, everything is locked 200 gig, and we have a strong BER. So this link has been up and stable since I turned on the rack this morning. For more information about our smart cable modules, visit AsteraLabs.com. Thanks for watching.